calling the barracks since 6 a.m. They keep telling me they will call me back, but I keep, I, I'm still the one contacting them. Nobody calls me, nobody tells me anything. Just calm down. Maybe there is a good explanation for all of this. See, I just, I will have to go there by myself. Yes, I have to go there myself, see them, talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. Someone needs to explain something to me. I need to at least know something. I can't be doing this whole phone thing anymore. Uh, Johnson told me that they were going to, to, to Liberia. Liberia isn't that far after all. I just have to go there because I'm losing it. I'm losing my mind. We interrupt this program to bring you this emergency news. Our sources say that the soldiers were returning from a peacekeeping mission in Liberia when they were attacked. We also gather that some of the family and friends of the soldiers has been trooping in the barracks demanding for explanations from the army. No! No! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He might not even be among them. Johnson! 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 No! Okay, please. Just, just come and sit. Come, come. Come, come. Sit, 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 sit. Just sit, 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 sit. It's okay. Just sit. Just sit. Just sit. Just sit. What's going on? They have taken Johnson. No, it's a lie. This wicked country has taken Johnson. No, it's a lie. They have taken Johnson. She's sleeping. I really don't understand what this country is turning into. We've been to the barracks five times and no one is saying anything. <sighs> Families will go there and stay from morning till night with nothing to show for it. Man, the whole thing is depressing. Huh? See, all I know is that we are not going to give up. We will continue to go there. Mm -hmm. We will continue to go there until they tell us something reasonable. Ah. Mm. Anyway, thank you so much for taking good care of your friend. You are indeed a friend. Auntie Mary is my friend. She will do the same for me. Sorry. I have to take my leave now. <laughs> I'll see you off. Right. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. You are not dressed yet. Huh? We have to leave early so as to beat traffic. I'm not going. What do you mean you're not going? Huh? You don't want to know what happens to your husband? You don't want to mourn your husband and bury him properly? How are we sure there's a body to bury? God forbid. It's not my own Johnson. I'm tired of dressing up every week, going to the barrack to waste my time. I am tired, Auntie. Didn't you hear what they said? That some of the soldiers were butchered beyond recognition. Ah, man. Do you know if today is going to be the lucky day? Eh? Don't you have faith in God? You're going there, right? Give me the good news when you return. Chocolate. My sweetheart. Where are you? Why have you chosen to leave me all alone? Johnson, why? <laughs> Go 
combat me. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. I want to see my John Cena again. Don't worry. Please let me all alone. Everything will be fine. How do I start from? Who will call me? Who will call me those sweet names? My John Cena loves me. Oh. Auntie. <laughs> Ah. Good morning, Auntie Esther. Good morning, June. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you How very are much. You? I'm very fine in you. I'm fine, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Please, have a seat. Oh. <laughs> How are you? Fine. <laughs> Please sit down. Thank you very much. It's all right. <laughs> so, what do I offer you? Um, water would do. Just water? Yes, just water. Okay, okay. let me get it. <laughs> so, long time. Yeah. When did you come back? I got in just last night. Oh. Yeah. Welcome. I heard what happened. And I'm so sorry about it. How are you holding up? <laughs> Thank God. I'm doing just fine. I'm coping well. I will be here for you. Okay? Just like Johnson would have wanted me to. I promise. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> My darling, it's so good to finally see you outside. I'm so, so happy. So good to see you, but trust me, I'm not ready for the world yet. I'm not ready to come out. But you know, Auntie Esther, she kept choking me and pushing me out. Like, well, I am happy that she pushed you out of the house. Really? Yes. You know, the best form of healing is to be around people that love you. Johnson loves me. He loves me more than every other person in this world. Okay, I'm sorry. It's, it's fine, it's fine. You don't need to apologize. I understand you're not ready to face the world right now. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to see you smile. Hmm. Look how beautiful you look. When was the last time you smiled? Yesterday. Smiled yesterday. Mm -hmm. Really? I'm very sure it was not Auntie Esther that made you smile. So who made you smile? Jude. Jude. Your Jude. My Jude. <sighs> okay, fine. Johnson's best friend. Oh. Wow. <laughs> really? Yes, so. Hmm. And what do you be mean by my Jude? Really? No, seriously, really? Why are you acting as if you, you, you're not excited? Everyone knows you used to have a crush on him. Well, used to. Past tense. Not anymore. Well, I'm sure that by the time you see him, you will continue crushing and drooling after him. Because you know what? Girl, Jude is times two. Like, he's, he's way cuter than you used to know him before. Wow. I thought you were mourning. Mm -hmm. So how were you able to see all of these things? And it was because of you now. I needed to, you mm. know. So because of gist, you buff up like that. I thought you were mourning. God, this girl. Get no, away. I'm, happy. I'm really happy to see you. Sit down. I'm really happy to see you. Sit down. <laughs> Let's talk about Jude. Jude. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'll be coming home this weekend. <laughs> yes. You know, I left everything to be with my brother's wife. You know? Yeah, I just pray that boy do everything, clean up the house as agreed. Yeah. <laughs> so expect me this weekend, okay? <laughs> expect me this weekend. <laughs> Someone is leaving me. Uh, please, just hold on. One minute, please. <laughs> hold on. Um, you didn't tell me you were traveling. Mary. I just took the decision, you know? I left everything in the village. 
So I'm going to be here all by myself. Hold on. Let me get it. So that is it too. <laughs> Hi. Oh, good day, Esther. Ah. <laughs> One minute, please. Oh, Jude. <laughs> Are you here? Yes, I am. <laughs> please have seats. Thank you very much. Ah. Thank you. And I'll get back to you, please. Thank you. Did anything happen? No, but something is about to happen. Okay. Yes. You know, I'll be traveling to the village to take care of things. I've been here with her ever since my brother had an issue, you understand? Hmm? And now I want to go to the village to attend to some things. And she's not taking it, please. Can you always come from time to time to keep her company and to stay with her till I get back? Sure. <laughs> I can do that for you. That's, that's all right. Oh, that's beautiful. Ah, now I can rest my head. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. I cannot stay here alone. No. I can't stay here alone. That's my own. I don't know why she's stubborn. She has refused to attend to her business these days. Mm. Stubborn. Mm -hmm. I heard that. <laughs> That, uh, <laughs> I'm fine. Don't mind. I'm not stubborn, okay? I just can't stay alone in this house. I, I can imagine. But why don't you want to go back to work? I, I'm not mentally sound yet. I don't want to go to work. I understand. Thanks for coming. So, um, Mr. Namdi and uh, Mrs. Amadi, We'll be sending our drivers to come pick up their orders, okay, within the week. While Mr. Adedibo from the government house will also send someone to come pick up his parcel, all right? And um, the others will come and inspect and pick up by themselves. Please, make sure everything is ready within the week, please. Yes. Um, please help me get it, though. <sighs> Oh, hi. Hi. Good afternoon, June. Welcome. Hi. Uh, Sandra, right? Yes. You remember me? Of course, I remember you. Wow. I'm very good with faces. <laughs> That's impressive. Well, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Oh, no, 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 no. Mary was just giving instructions to her worker. That's all. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I will just state my mission here and take my leave. You're not staying? Not exactly. I just came to find out if you'll be free this evening. Yeah, sure. Well, there's this new movie showing at the cinema, and I was hoping that we would go together to see it. I... Look, <sighs> I promised Auntie Esther, and I intend to keep that promise. I will not take no for an answer. But you know what? Just get the time and the place. She'll be there. So I'll see you by 7 p.m., okay? Okay. All right. Take care, ladies. All right. Bye. Have a great day. What is wrong with you? Have you Please, on. you can go. Okay. Ah, thank you. You have a date and you wanted to turn it down. Relax now. I don't feel like going out. Which one is you don't feel like it? Please, you need to be happy. You should go. Now you need to go and select place. <laughs>
see, honestly, I'm not ready to face the world right now. Welcome, ma. When are you coming back? I miss you. Yeah, Jude came, he took me out, and it really helped. At least he helped to brighten my mood. Trust me, I miss you. You really need to come back. All right, now, Auntie. I'll talk to you later. Hi, good day. Good day. Um, please sit. I don't think there will be any need for that. Okay, I hope there's no problem. Mary? I am not the one to beat around the bush, so I will just go straight to the point. All the time, Johnson visited me in the States. All he ever did was talk about you. At first, I did not know what to make of it. But this last few weeks I've spent with you has made me realize that he wasn't exaggerating. As a matter of fact, he toned it down. Mary, you are an amazing woman. And any man will be so lucky to have you. I would really love to be that lucky man in your life, if you let me. Please. I will not say we did not see this coming. No one saw it coming. Really? Yes. Are you trying to tell me you did not notice how he looks at you? How he pays attention to your every single detail? Hmm. Okay. Tell me you don't like him. Yeah. Well, I don't hate him, okay? It's just that... Anyway, Jude is no stranger to us. And that's, that's a good thing. Really? My husband's best friend is asking me out. And you call it a good thing? So tell me, what's good about it? Your late husband's best friend, okay? Stop talking about Johnson like he's in the house waiting for you to come home. I mean, you're overthinking this thing. Just give him a chance, okay? I thought you liked him. Well, he likes you. And quite frankly, you need a man in your life now more than I do. So. <sighs> God. Anyway, stop overthinking it, okay? Let me quickly attend to a customer. I will be back. Stop overthinking. <laughs> Give him a chance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe you should get me a bottle of malt. Cold malt. All right, I will. All right. doing today? I'm fine. And you? Um, I'm good. Okay. Um, well, I, I was actually in the neighborhood and I thought it was wise to stop by and, and check on you and find out if you're doing very well. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. You, you had something to eat today? Yes, I have. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, okay, I, I will just be on my way. Out. Wait. Um, I think you should come have a seat. 
Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Come. 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 You should be happy seeing me. Uh, yes, Ati. <laughs> I'm happy seeing you. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good evening, ma. Uh, Jude. Hmm? You are here too. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes, I'm here. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you, my dear. How was the journey? Ah, my journey was fine. Just that I'm tired. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> You're welcome. I hope there's something for me to eat. Yeah, sure. There's food. Okay, let me quickly go microwave. Hey, no, don't, 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 don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. I just want to be sure that there is food for me to eat. You understand? Okay. Let me shower. I need to take my bath first before eating. Okay? Okay. <laughs> um, any news? News? Yes. The barracks. About Johnson. Oh, Johnson. Um... No, not at all. They haven't said anything yet. Nothing at all. Um, I... I have to be on my way out now. So soon? Yes. I hope I'm not the one to see you. No, I was about to leave before you came in. Oh, you got no problem. All right, take care. <laughs> take care of you. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, Mary, we have to fix a date. Hmm? Mm. We have to fix a date to go to that barrack. You never can tell. Something might pop up. Sure. Hmm? Sure. Okay. You will. Okay. Just take care. Um, please, a bit. But seriously, you know you're too stubborn. Yes, you are. I mean, if you had listened to me, all this wouldn't have happened. What? What's that? <laughs> so what do you think you can do to me? <laughs> yeah. Sandra, yes, you can send in your girl. I will do that right away. I will just send your girl to the shop. Yes. Oh, okay. I'll call you later. Bye. Was that Sandra? Yes, auntie. Send my regards to her. She will hear. Auntie, I need to go inside. I came here for us to stay together. Auntie, I need to go have a nap, okay? I'm tired. My head aches, okay? Just um, enjoy yourself for the TV. Hmm? <laughs> if you <laughs> say so. All right. Auntie. Ah. Wow. You look nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Where are you going to? I'm going to see Sandra. Yes, she asked me to accompany her to the market. Oh. Talking about Sandra. I've not seen her for a while now. I hope she's fine. <sighs> yes, Auntie, she's fine. And Jude? Huh? Uh, Jude? Jude is he's fine. Yeah, he should be fine. I've not also seen him for a while. I saw him last, the day I came back. I hope he's fine. Mm, yes, <laughs> you, you know, he might just be busy with one or two things. Yeah, <laughs> but I guess he's fine. I see. Just greet him for me. And see, I'm going to see Sandra, not Jude. Oh, <laughs> if you say so. Okay, um, have fun, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll be back shortly. All right, my dear. Oh. Hello? Who is this? Auntie, don't you have my number again? Oh, oh, my dear. Oh, my dear Sandra, please pardon my manners. <laughs> I was busy watching one interesting movie here. I'm sorry, how are you doing, my dear? It's fine, Auntie. I'm sorry to disturb your movie. It's just that I've been trying to reach Mary, but 
her number has been switched off. Please, can you tell her to call me as soon as possible? <laughs> but she told me you guys went out together. How come you are calling now to ask me to tell her to call you? No, Auntie. I've been trying to reach her all day. She's not home. She said you guys went out together. So, what's going on? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I forgot. I forgot. We went somewhere together. <laughs> oh, you went out together and you are calling, asking about her. Auntie, okay, I'll call you back. I just remembered something, okay? Please, please. I'll call you back. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good evening, Auntie. Good evening, my dear. Are you back? Yes. How was your outing? Auntie, it was really stressful. Trust me, I won't go out with her again. Jeez! Auntie, my feet hurt. That girl nearly stressed me. She stressed me. I won't try that again, no. She was just taking me and I was, I was moving everywhere. Walking everywhere around the market like, like, like a mad woman. <sighs> Sandra called earlier. Hmm? Yes. She did? She did. She said I should tell you to call her when your phone is on. <laughs> I remember. Ah, yes. You know, we... It was when she, she, she actually told me to call her when I get home. But you know, maybe because my line wasn't going through, so she decided to call you, you know, to remind me to call her. Mm -hmm. Yes, Auntie, I think that explains it. Yeah. Is that right? Oh. Uh, Auntie, night. Auntie, I bought something for you. Good night. Good night. Sandra called. Sandra. Hi. Wait. Sandra, how could you? Uh, what did you say to Auntie Esther? Not even a good morning. Oh, please, there is nothing good about the morning. Yes, because I couldn't sleep all through last night. What have you done? I don't understand what's going on. And besides, if you want to lie with my name, at least you'd have told me. I called your number countless times. I couldn't get through to you. I had to call Auntie Esther. Oh, goodness. Well, you could have at least said something meaningful. Cook up something. I did not know what was happening. And when I realized it, I hung up. I didn't like the way she spoke to me last night. Honestly, I didn't like it. I think she's suspecting us. Look. That woman is very intelligent. She's very, very smart. I don't know how you're going to do this. You need to act very fast before she, before she finds out. Oh, God. Just cheer up. I don't know what to say. Look, I'm very sorry if I caused any troubles for you. But seriously, you need to act fast. What troubles you, my love? I think she's suspecting us. Who? Auntie Esther. You know the way she talks to me these days. I'm scared. What are you scared of? Mm -hmm. That she would find out. And so? What if she finds out? Why are we even hiding? I think we should actually tell her. Babe, what exactly are we going to tell her? That we are in love. Except that's not how you feel about me. Come on. Babe, you know exactly how I feel about you. You know I love you. I just think we should take things slowly. The reason you are still going through this is because you are still in that house. Okay? That is Johnson's house. When you get married to me, you move into my house. 
and we will not need to hide any longer. That way, people will accept us for who we are. Good day, Auntie. Ah, good morning. Ah, sorry. Good day, my dear. How are you? I'm fine. Have you taken your lunch? No, but I'll do that shortly. Auntie Esther, hmm? there's something I want to tell you. I hope all is well. Yeah, um, it's just that I... Are you expecting someone? I'll get it. Okay. Hold on. We were ambushed and left for dead. They thought we were dead. I thought I was dead. After a while, three of us jacked back to life. Was <laughs> moments later, three of us woke up. We're struggling for our lives. And then one house a man and his wife saw us struggling for her and life. They decided to help us even though they knew that that meant danger. Because if anyone had found out they were helping us, it would cost their life. Yet, they did everything they could to help mm. us. Unfortunately, two of the survivors died. Oh! I was the only one left fighting for my life. One night, I was smuggled out of where they used to hide me because a neighbor saw me. I went to the community hospital, but they couldn't treat me because the bandit leader had warned that anyone involved in helping me would be punished. I had wounds all over me, but I ran. I ran to the bush. I stayed there. Stayed there all day and only came out in the night to look for food. Mm. I can't even tell how I am able to survive all this while. Oh, you survived. You survived because of me. You survived for me and for your wife who almost killed herself because of you. Please. Continue the story, Biko. How? I was tired. There was no food. There was no proper treatment. Lying by the road. And some Christians that were coming for me video, they found me. They took me to their church. And called in a missionary doctor. He came and he took my treatment personal and was at it. Gave me all the medications that I needed. But unfortunately, the bullet in my leg and the one by my side was not removed on time. So I have to be using crutches for now. 
They insisted that I stayed uh, until I am fully recovered. But I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to be amongst friends and family. Oh. Thank God. You know, he really looks good compared to what he's been through. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's the proof that good people still exist in this country. But I wonder how you're feeling right now. I'm sorry it has to end this way, okay? What has to end? You and Mary. I know you both are bitter. Nothing is ending. Her husband is back. And it changes everything. It changes nothing. Okay? It changes nothing. Hi. Hi. Um, do you need anything? No. Uh, oh, okay. I'll be going to the living room to sleep. Why? Good morning, Auntie. Ah. Good morning, Mary. How was your night? Fine. <laughs> that reminds me. You are going to tell me something the day Johnson came back. What is it? Did I say I was going to tell you something? Yes, you did. Oh. That was before the bell rang. Oh, and <laughs> see, it's actually nothing. It's actually nothing? Mm -hmm. It's nothing. <laughs> okay. Are you going somewhere? Yes. Oh. Um, I'm going to my shop. What about your husband? I need to attend to my business. You need to attend to your business. So who attends to your husband then? Auntie, I have been mourning for months now. Come on, I need to go and pick things up now more than ever. Mary, you are my pruned. You and I cried in this house for Johnson to come back. Now he is back. You are behaving this way. Mary, what has come over you? Auntie, I am happy that Johnson is back and alive. But Auntie, come on, my life will not just pause and start whatever Johnson says so. Auntie, don't worry. See you later. So how are you feeling now? I'm feeling better. And your leg? It's really recovering faster 
It's not as bad as it looks. Yeah. Mm. God. Mm. I heard what you did. Mm? My sister, she told me everything. Thank you. Thank you for taking care of Mary. Oh. I knew I could rely on you. Thank you. Okay. I think she is still in shock. Why would you say that? She hasn't said anything to me. You mean you two haven't had any conversation? No real conversation. Just some random question and answer. Maybe she's in shock, like you said earlier. I think there's something wrong. I can feel it. I want to ask you a question. And please tell me the truth. Johnson. Please just promise me you will tell me the truth. Okay, I promise. While I was away, did you notice any strange movement? Like a man coming in, into this house? No. None that I know of. Are you sure? I... I was the only man who came here while you were away. I have so much to tell her. So what are you going to do now? Honestly, I don't know. You can't, you can't, you can't be confused at this point in time. Two men are asleep. Oh, Sandra, please. For goodness sake, do you know how I feel each time I see the way Johnson looks at me? Oh, I die every single day. So are you going to leave your husband? Mary. Oh God, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't, I, I, I don't know. Mary, you have been saying you don't know, you don't know since you came here. You need to take a decision. You are holding two grown men to ransom. Oh. God. Johnson, please leave the way. Not until we talk about this. There's this. nothing to talk about. There's a whole lot to talk about. What is going on? This, this, this is not fair. Since I returned, we have practically become strangers. What is happening to us? I cook, I clean, I live in your house. What else do you want? You. I want you, my wife. I need you. Johnson, please, I'm tired. I need to rest. You should be resting here. This is your room. This is where you should be Johnson, sleeping. Please, excuse me. Ah. Very strong. <laughs> Something strong. Just a minute, please. Wow. 
Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> it's strong. <laughs> <laughs> so, how have you been? I'm good. You don't you don't look happy. I mean, you look all sad and gloomy. You used to be bubbly, excited. What happened? I'm fine. The good news is, I am here to make it all go away. Like, make you feel good and happy. No, what's, what's the problem? What are you doing? Stop. Why? Come on. Don't do this, come on. Look, <laughs> because of the fantasy with Mary. Excuse me? Yes. I mean, they're happily married. We are young and we can do whatever we like. We're single. So just let me... Stop. No. Okay. Um, Sandra? Yeah. It's time for you to leave. Look, all you need to do is just say yes and I will be yours. Sandra, stop. What is wrong with you? Sorry. Please get out. I just... I just Sandra, are you okay? Are you normal? I'm sorry. I'm get out. Sorry. It is people like you who go to people's houses and try to destroy their relationship. People like you. Really? Yes. People like me? Say someone who is trying to break up his best friend's five-year-old marriage and you stand here talking about me. You know for another man. Please. Please. You're not even that fine. Please come and do your hand. No, will come again. You will have to call me now. She's not at home. Well, I didn't come to see Mary. I came to see you. Me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Look, I know. I know you've been asking questions. You have a lot of questions since you got back. And I know you've been asking Jude some questions. Jude said he doesn't know anything. Well, let's just say you've been asking the wrong people the right questions. So you would tell me then? Well, what would you like to know? Everything. Everything? Sandra was here. I'll call her back later. She didn't come to see you. Oh. Is it true? I didn't believe her. Just tell me that she is lying. And I'll believe you. Mary, I know. It was difficult for you while I was gone. But we can sort it out. But I'm here now. And I'm never leaving. Together. We can work it out. Marriage. Is for better. And for worse. This is probably our worst moment. But we will get through this together. Damn it, Mary, say something! What do you want me to say, huh? What? Do you want to know the truth? Fine! I had an affair with your friend, and guess what? We are still seeing each other. I'm sure your sister must have told you her own version of the story. Leave them both. They are all true! What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Huh? What? The highest you can do is to divorce me. And guess what? I am ready for it. God! Excuse me. Rubbish. What happened to you? Baby. 
so much. Yes, you too. Tell me the good news. What did he say? He said he's ready to forgive and forget, but he will never divorce me. What? Uh, he said something about um, what a missionary doctor told him about forgiveness and second chances. I know what Johnson is doing. I know what he's doing. He's trying to make you his prisoner forever. That's what he's doing. Never. I will never allow that happen. Never. <sighs> Babe. Hmm? Move in with me. Move in with me and let us end this once and for all. Baby, you know I would gladly do that. But I wouldn't want any baggage we will finally live together. But don't worry. I will make sure I get a divorce from him one way or the other. Trust me. Hmm? I really love the sound of us being together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you right? Because there are a lot of things I want to do to you. Ooh. When you finally become mine. Ooh. So what are you going to do about this now? Nothing. I have told her I'm not giving her a divorce. We're going to walk through this together. Walk through what together? There is no together here, Johnson. You are on this alone. You have to be realistic. Johnson, please let her go. She's just confused. This too shall pass. Huh? Johnson, I don't know what they fed you at the missionary there. Johnson, this girl is in this house. It's as if she is not in this house. It's as if she's not with us. All she does is to make loud calls, say abominable things that the ear are not supposed to hear. Johnson, let that girl go. I can't. What do you mean by you can't? I can't let her go. She's my wife. My wife, sister. What kind of a husband would I be if I let her go? If I gave up on her just like that? Johnson. Johnson, this girl doesn't cook for you. She doesn't take care of you. Eh? Johnson, I'll be traveling to the village to take care of some things. I'm worried about you, Johnson. You need to allow this girl go. Let her go, Johnson. Eh? Don't worry about me, sister. Let's go. I have been through worse. Good morning, darling. Uh, please, uh, today is my appointment at the hospital. Can you take me there, please? I have an important meeting today with some clients, okay? I'm sorry, I can't be your driver. Oh, but you don't have to. Just drop me there, I'll find my way back. Okay, so if you can find your way back, then you can as well find your way to the hospital. Please, I need no distractions. I'm sorry, I will not distract you. Just, just take me, please. My sister is not around. How do I get to the hospital? Oh my God, you have apps on your phone. You have Rider's app on your phone. Use it. Cheese.
Please tell me, is this my destiny? Is this my destiny? Is this the life that I end up leaving? How come the ones that I thought were close are my enemies? They put me through so much, I can't even comprehend. Oh. Welcome. Hope you're doing all nice. Can you imagine I was I was in the kitchen, I checked all the pots. Uh, they're squeaky clean. There's really nothing there to eat. Please, I really want to take my medication. Can you just help me ruffle up something, even if it is noodles, so that I can, can do that? It's almost 30 minutes past the hour. Please. Johnson, I know you are a very selfish person, but please, I am tired. I don't need you to bother me. Is that something edible? We can share it, if you don't mind. You know, Jude and I went out today and he got me this, amongst other things. But um, I can give it to you if you don't mind. <laughs> I didn't think so. Oh my goodness, you know, I am so tired. You know, I really need to go and rest. I'm tired. The outing was good, was super, super good. Hello, sister. Johnson, how are you? I'm fine. What are you doing? Um, I'm eating. I am very sure it was not Mary that prepared that food. Don't worry, sister. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> but you should have a little faith. I am not going to waste my faith on that girl. Johnson, you need to be very careful. That girl is desperate and she will. Anything. Don't worry about me, sister. I'm, I'm fine. Johnson, you are a very good person. But people are evil in this world. Whenever she becomes too nice to you and gives you food, just know that she has poisoned the food. What about your medication? I was just trying to eat so that I can take them. Oh, no, no, she did not. She fits me well. Past midnight and she's not here. Where is she?
pick. Come on, pick up your call. Should be thanking you for making the work a lot more easier for me. <laughs> huh. But guess what? You will never, ever find true love, let alone two men. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> well. I hope you don't end up regretting this decision you've taken. Huh? What did you say? I hope you don't end up regretting this decision you've taken. I, I'm in love. I can hear you. I'm in love. I can hear you, baby. <laughs> you know. Easy. That girl. Easy. Yeah, yeah, she's. No, no, no. You are full of life. Full of life. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> you know. Easy. That girl. Easy. Yeah, yeah, she's. Baby, give, give me sugar, give me sugar, give me sugar. Oh yeah. Mm. 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 <laughs> Where are you coming? Where are you coming from? I waited for you here all night. Did I ask you to wait for me? Huh? Did I? And you're a married man. Why will you be dressing in a short dress like this? Oh, please. You're not done talking. Mary! Come back here. I'm still talking to you. Mary! Mary! Come back here! Mary! Mary, open this door! Mary! Mary! I know you are not going to stay in there forever. You are going to give me an explanation today. Where were you last night? You know what? I am sick and tired of all this! Sick and tired. Yes. So you think because because of you've packed your bag, I will start begging you. I'm not going to beg you. You know, I have always known that you are wicked and selfish. Mm. And you know what? Since you don't want to give me peace, something as simple as peace, then I might as well leave the house. Oh, you think I I don't need peace? You think I don't need peace? If you want to go, go. Go and meet your lover. I also need peace in this house. Go and meet your lover. I am done. I am done with you. I know you were done with me since the first day I stepped my foot in this house. Oh. You want to run off to your oh, lover? Oh, please. Go! Go, I don't need you. Mary. Mary, I'm sorry. Mary, I'm sorry. Mary. Please, please, uh, please, I'm sorry, Mary. I, I didn't know what got into me. I was just saying things I didn't mean. Please don't leave. Leave my box. Please, please, Mary, don't leave me. Please, Mary, we can walk this out. Please don't leave, please. <laughs> I over. swear to God, I would push you please, down. Please. And I mean it. Mary, I'm sorry, please. Don't leave, leave my box. Jesus Christ! Jesus! 
put my hand. Johnson! Johnson! Doctor, yes. is my brother. Oh, he's doing very well. He only had a minor head injury. <laughs> Thank God. And but honestly, you people really tried. Assuming you didn't come when you arrived, it would have been a different thing. Because following his health condition, his immune system is not functioning very properly. Hmm. And uh, his body is still weak. In fact, I must tell you he's a lucky man. He nearly escaped death. Thank you so much, Doctor. Please can I see him now? Oh yeah, you can. Um, Ward 5, by your right. You know, <laughs> I find this really hard to believe. <laughs> you better believe. We are finally together. Wow. So, no more sneaking around, no more hiding. Mm -hmm. This is like a dream come true. <laughs> if it's a dream, I don't want to wake up. Baby, breakfast is served. Baby! Yes, my love. <laughs> huh. Breakfast is ready. You are always pampering me. Mm. Ah, you know, come here, baby. I could live like this forever, you know. We are already on our way to forever. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Should I eat this food first? Or should I eat this first? Mm -hmm. Choose one. Which do you want? was awesome. I left a souvenir for you. Was, oh my god. <gasps> Not pictures. Jesus. Oh my god. Baby, I hope you are ready for some action tonight. What is this? Who is she? Who is she? Answer me, damn it! Who is she? She's no one. She's no one. Yet you both have been chatting for two months now. You even send each other nude pictures. Oh my god. Oh. God. Listen to me, sweetheart, come on. There is no one. She is a nobody. <laughs> you are the only one in my life. But, but... And you mean so much to me.
I love you. I love you very much. And that's what matters, okay? There is no one for me except you. As much as I would never want to see any man with you. It's locked. Where are you going? Uh, <clears throat> I was just go I just wanted to go outside. Yes, outside. Oh. Mm. Can I make a call with your phone, please? Oh, sure, sure. What are you doing? Oh, should please, please. I just, I just want to go outside, okay? I just wanted to go outside and please give me back my phone. I beg you in the name of God, please. Come on, Jude, please give me back. Please give me my phone. I need to make a call urgently. Please. Who do you want to call? Babe, please. Please just give me the phone. Let me make a call. I beg you, please. Call the number and I will dial it for you. Please, baby, please, let me just make this call. Call the number and I will dial it for you. Please, please. Who do you need to call? Johnson. I want to call Johnson. <laughs> you have no business with Johnson anymore. I have blocked and deleted Johnson's number from your phone. If that will be all, I would like to go back to my football match. Baby. Babe, what's going on? Don't you love me anymore? Of course I love you. And that's why I'm doing this. 
you going to understand? Johnson is a very weak man. He is very weak. And that was why he lost you. I don't want to ever make the same mistake he made. And just so you know, if you ever leave me for another man, I will find you and I will kill both of you. I'm hungry. Go get me my food. Are you deaf? <laughs> Madam. Tega, please, please come and open the gate. Okay, madam. I'm going to the market. I won't waste time. Okay, ma'am. Okay. I'll buy you something when I come back. Yeah? No problem. Okay. Take care, ma'am. Okay. Bye bye, ma'am. Mm. To me, I'm sorry, Auntie. I don't want to push you. Get out of this house! They can't go. He's going to kill me. I can't go back there. Please, Auntie, forgive me, Auntie. Mary, please do not push me. Please, help me back. What are you still waiting for? Get out of this house! Hey! Madam, please come and be going there. Now, Push her! Please, 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 Auntie, Auntie, please, Auntie, forgive me. To air his human and to forgive his divine. Mary! Auntie, please, Auntie. Madam, please. Madam. Please. Madam. 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 Auntie, please. Madam. Auntie, please. Madam. Get out of this compound. Get out! Get out! Push her out! Madam, please, please, please. 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 In this compound again. Idiot. Sister. Rubbish. Who was that? Talk to me. Who is that? Who, who are you shouting at? Who, who is that? Don't worry. Listen, you don't need to bother your head. Eh? Let's concentrate on ourselves. Our lives matter. Forget about everybody. Don't even bother anymore. Wait, could it could it be her? Idiot. What does she want? She came into this house. I don't know who she thinks she is. I don't know who she thinks she is dealing with. A baby? Oh, nonsense girl. Please, what do you want to eat? Let me prepare your food for you. Anything is fine. Uh, come, let's go inside. Come on, please. Useless girl, let me see her again.
she? I said, where is she? Where is she? What, what, what is good about this afternoon? Where is she? Who is making noise in my shop? Oh, you. What's the problem? Where is Mary? I don't understand. Sandra, I am not playing with you. Where is Mary? Yes, do you see her here? Or do you see her hanging on the ceiling? What is it? If I find out mm -hmm. that you are hiding Mary from me, you will regret to ever cross paths with me. Are you threatening me? Look, I will not take I it lightly. I will not take it lightly. And if anything happens to me, you will have yourself to blame. Rubbish. But wait, though. Where's Mary? I hope she's fine, though. Sandra! Fine. Sandra! Mary! Sandra, what is this? Wait, 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 what is it? What? Okay, sit, 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 sit down. Sit, stand up, sit. What happened? Sit, sit Jude, down. Jude wants to kill me. Jude, you just let ah! Wait, wait, come! Come, come, come. It's fine, he has gone. Are you sure? Yes. yes. Huh? What's the problem? Come. What's the problem? What happened? Please, I need your help. I need you to help me call Johnson, please. Just help me call Johnson. Okay, I'll call Johnson. Wait, wait, wait. I'll call Johnson. Let me get my phone. Okay. If you're not the one saying this, believe me, I will not have believed it. Jude is a monster. All I want to say is that I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Please forgive me. I don't know what came over me. I'm so sorry. Please. It's okay. I already forgave you a long time ago. Believe me. I mean, you've cried enough already. Sandra, I don't know what came over me. I don't know what I was it's thinking. Okay. I don't know what I was thinking. It's okay. Um, is Johnson. Oh, okay. Hi, Johnson. Oh. Oh, wow, that's great news. That's great news. Okay, okay, we'll be there. We'll be there immediately. Right away, yes. All right, all right. What happened? Um, Jude has been arrested. That's the good news. Yes, and we are to come to the station to make a statement. Is, is Johnson there? Yes, Johnson is there. Hi. God. God, oh, how do I face Johnson? It's okay. How do I look at him in his eyes? I can't. I mean, oh. Johnson picked your call immediately you called. He went to the barracks and brought soldiers to track you down. How do I look at his face? Don't you get it? I can't look at his face. I can't even look at... I'm so ashamed of myself. Like, I'm so stupid. I'm the most foolish woman alive. If you ask me, I would say Johnson has forgiven you. All you need to do is just ask. Hey. Okay? I, 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 should go, I should go with you. Yes. Let me get my shoe, please. Hey, good man. Because I don't know how anybody could take this. Believe me. Let me see. Right. Aunt Esther, Aunt Esther, Aunt Esther, please. I know she has offended you, but please forgive her. She has realized her mistakes, please. Just Auntie, I really know what came over. Auntie Esther now. Auntie Esther. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mary. Mary, look at me. No. I'm sorry. I can't. Mary. It's okay. <laughs> Let me help you.
I do not want you to be ashamed. I am not ashamed of you. I'm sorry. It's no, no, no. It is okay. Sit. Sit. Sit, sit. In that bush, I saw hell. I almost gave up. But then I remember you. The promises I made to you. I told you I was never going to leave you alone in this wicked world. I'm sorry. I promised myself that I'm going to keep that promise no matter what it takes. When the missionary and he was treating me, he told me that I was going to fight for my marriage when I come back. But I didn't know that it was going to be this difficult. What you did. It hurt so much. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're my wife. And I am your husband. And I love you. I love you so much. I don't know how much. I love you cannot imagine how much. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Oh, 